the week after Memorial Day is usually circled on calendars, right? It's Parents and children really like this time of year. It is the week when most area swimming pools open for the summer season. At least that's how it's supposed to work, right? News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how the nationwide staffing shortage could impact the community pool near you. <laughs> summer break is hard on parents. It's hard for us to entertain them for 73 days. There are just some days. With this heat, people want to be out and they want to be getting wet. We're the best way to beat the heat. The water gets in that tube and it comes out. Is to play in the spray, which may be the reason why this splash pad at Pea Park. Everybody can get out here and enjoy this, no matter what your ability is. Feels ready to burst. But it's also because the only other free pool in town is locked up tight. Um, it's sad. The facility itself is fine. The only reason why Pleasant Green Pool is closed is because there's not enough people willing to work here. You know, we're not sure what the what the issue is with getting these positions filled or why people aren't coming out. This has been a coveted job for years. It takes 12 lifeguards to fully staff the center. We had two uh, applicants out of the 12 apply. And according to the Goodlettsville Parks and Recreations Director, wasn't from a lack of effort. We've worked really hard reaching out to the schools, to our sports leagues, to the different community members, just trying to get this out. We, did, we hosted a job fair for lifeguards this year and we haven't seen the applicants. Goodlettsville isn't the only community having bad luck. A recent nationwide survey found 80% of parks directors are struggling with lifeguard staffing for a variety of reasons. Some cite pay, others the limited schedule. The YMCA, we get more hours here or we can work year round at the YMCA where we can only work nine weeks out of the summer at the pool. Regardless of the reason, this is the outcome. People have been frustrated. We're frustrated too. Raising the question, could there come a day where a play in the spray is the only free way to cool off in Goodlettsville? So it's having us look at aquatics and say, are we? do we want to be in the aquatics business or do we not? And where do we go from here? Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thanks, Chris. City officials tell us the ultimate fate of the Pleasant Green Swimming Pool will be up to the Parks and Recreation Board and the Goodlettsville Board of Commissioners.